now we for the designing of uh, steel column steel beam truss members girders we need some formulas uh, from some code guidelines that are uh, after long uh, years uh, experience of years okay so the specifications are given by some codes so what codes give the specification for the steel design we will see the adequacy of a structural member is determined by a set of design rules called specifications. These include formulas that guide the designer in checking strength, stiffness, proportions and other criteria that may govern the acceptability of the member. For the design of member we need these specifications. There are variety of specifications that have been developed for both materials and for structures. Each is based on years of research and experience gained through actual structural usage. So here are following codes for, uh, for the steel construction and steel designing. Uh, AISC 360 uh, that uh, used for the designing of steel members that is American Institute of Steel Construction. AISI American Iron and Steel Institute for, for database like uh, different type of steel sections, angle section, channel section database is given. AWS American Welding Society, ASHTO American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, AREA American Railway Engineering Association, ASTM American Society for Testing and Materials, ASC American Society of Civil Engineers. Uh, in these standards, you know already know some of these names. So remaining I have covered. Types of load, dead load. It is uh, it almost retain its magnitude and point of application throughout the life of a structure, and it is denoted by T. This load is usually the self weight of the structure, not only this member, but all other members resting on it. Okay, for example, a column. In column, the above load, which is resting on the column, that will be act as a dead load. Like slab load, beam load, all the load resting on the column, that will be act as dead load, will be not denoted as D. This is estimated by multiplying the volume of member with the standard density of the material of a construction site means uh, you will multiply the volume of the member with the density you will get the total weight of that material this lo uh, load constitute a bigger part of the total load on the structure means dead load have a major contribution to the structure live load the load due to persons occupying the structure and their belongings denoted by l its magnitude and point of application changes with time. Like uh, the students in the classroom for the designing of a school, uh, maybe one day students come 40, another day 35, another day 30. So their value will change. The student come and go. So its magnitude and point of application changes with time. In case of bridges, live load consists of weight of vehicles moving over the bridge. Means on the bridges, the vehicle load that will be uh, used as live load. Typical values of common occupancy type are given in the next slide. Here is a table. For a private apartment, schools, classroom, you can use live load 200 kg per meter square. Similarly, different, for example, library stack, uh, stack rooms 750 kg per meter square. For heavy machinery, 1200 kg per meter square. Self load. It is the subtype of dead load. This is the type of dead load which is uh, due to cell weight of the member to be designed. For design, a reasonable value of a cell load depending upon the past experience is assumed in the start, which is then compared with the actual cell weight at the design. For example, for the calculation at the start, we assume some cell, uh, assume some cell weight. And after designing, when we get the actual section, we compare that what will be the weight of actual section. If there is a no uh, difference with the assumed and the uh, result, then there will be no revision. And if there is a difference in the previously assumed self weight and design self weight, then we have to revise the section with the new self weight. 
Corrections in the design are made if necessary that I have explained. Other types of loads are wind load, earthquake load, water and earth retaining loads and temperature loads etc. Imposed slash superimposed load. This term is used for all external loads leaving the self weight acting on the member to be designed. Okay, this terminology is used. Except the self weight, all other loads are superimposed load. This includes snow load, wind load, earthquake load, part of the dirt load may also act as impo imposed load. Service loads. All sim the simple definition of service loads, all the loads which act on the building throughout its, li throughout its life without any factor, without any factor that are called service loads means the maximum intensity of load expected during the life of the structure depending upon a certain probability of occurrence is called service load. Here no additional factor of safety or overload factor is included in the service load means in service load without any factor loads without any factor. And factor loads means loads with factors service loads uh, increased by some factor of safety like uh, when there is a dead and live load you will multiply the factor uh, 1.2 into dead plus 1.6 live that will be factor loads and if there is a only dead load so then the factor will be 1.4 dead that is given by code that are called factor loads mechanism of load transfer the basic mechanism here for in a building Okay, the load will be transferred from uh, roof surface to roof slab, then from slab to beams, beams to columns, columns to foundation, foundation to subsoil, and subsoil will transfer and spread to the uh, uh, to the ground. Okay, so that's the load transfer mechanism. You can read uh, that is so easy. So that's why I am skipping the read because I will explain here. Means load transfer mechanism. Again, this is the same like for the beams, columns are acting like sports. Uh, what, uh, for the slab, beams will be acting as a sport. For the beams, columns will be acting as a sport. For, for columns, foundation will be acting as a sport. So there is the explanation here. And for the foundation, subsoil will be act as a sport. Underneath soil act as a sport. Uh, these steel lectures are taken from steel structures book by Dr. Zahid Ahmed Siddiqui and by Dr. Ashraf and special thanks to Dr. Zahid Ahmed Siddiqui for this book, for this nice book. So thanks for listening. Thanks for your patience. Have a nice day.